What's happening, my beautiful people out there in the fragrance world? Welcome to PR Sense. My name's Jose, and here you'll find fragrance reviews for the common men and ladies at not too expensive prices. So today, um, well, first of all, I didn't post on Friday or Monday because I was in Florida on a little mini vacation, and my God, was it great. I got burnt to a crisp, though, because it was 85 to 90 degrees down there. Um, had a really, really good time, and took a couple of freshies with me. It's that time of year. It's springtime coming up and then the summer. You guys know I love my winter fragrances, um, but it's time for, it's starting to get time to be uh, freshies. So I've got 10 freshies for you that you can easily get most of the time at the rack stores, not very expensive. Um, and they're really, really nice. So if you are interested in that kind of, uh, you know, content, uh, stick around and I'll see you in a second. Thanks guys. Bye. So guys, like I said, it's that time of year where we're starting to pull out the freshies because the weather's starting to get a little warmer. It's going to start getting, you know, too warm to be wearing the the winter fragrances because they're a lot heavier, they're a lot sweeter. The freshies are more citrusy, sea salt kind of things, um, and they smell very, very nice. So I've got 10 for you here. I'm probably gonna do about two more videos of you know 10 and 10 um, more uh, fragrances that you can wear in the spring and summer. Some of these, you can wear it throughout the year. Uh, like I always tell you guys, you wear what you want, when you want to, all right? Uh, but for now, let's go through these. Uh, I've got a few Mont Blancs, a few Versaces. You know, I've got a, a little, a myriad, if you will, of fragrances for you that uh, that I think are really, really nice. And again, you can find most of these at the rack stores. Um, and you won't be paying a lot of money, less than $50 for most of them. Some of them are, are like $20, $25. Um, so yeah, so let's get started with that, all right? Here we go. At the number one spot, and these are not in any particular order. These are just, you know, they're, they're just one through 10, so don't get crazy. So at the number one spot, we've got Mont Blanc Legends Spirit. And this, ah, oh, this is really, really nice. This is supposed to smell like Invictus um, or uh, Rasasi Hawass. And it's, it's just a really clean, fresh smell. It's got... Uh, grapefruit in it, bergamot, um, pink pepper, white woods. It's got a, a, a quite a bit of, of fragrances, but you smell that grapefruit, you smell some of the water notes, and it's just a very fresh, clean scent. Now, most of these that I'm going to be talking about don't have a lot of staying power. I mean, you know, we're talking four to six hours here around there, depending on your skin. On some of you, it may last three hours. On some of you, it may last 10 hours. It just depends on your skin. So when a reviewer tells you this thing's beast mode, it lasts 12 hours, you may buy it and get it, and then you'll find that it lasts, you know, four hours on your skin. It just depends on your skin, your pH factors, you know, all of these different things. Uh, how moist your skin is, you know, so always keep your, your skin moist. That helps a lot. Um, and so, yeah, Legend Spirit, very, very nice. Not going to cost you a lot of money. You can usually still find these at the rack stores like uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, you can usually find that. Next. Now, the next one is Mont Blanc Individual. And Mont Blanc Individual, another really nice one. This one has lavender in it, mint, bergamot, um, vetiver. Mmm, it's a little spicy as well, just slightly spicy. This one you definitely can find at Bur Burlington, uh, Marshalls, and really, really fresh, really, really nice. It's supposed to smell a bit like uh, Creed's Original Santal, uh, which is, you know, if you guys know Creed, it's probably about $250 to $360. But this one you can still find it probably for about in the $30, $35 range at the rack stores, probably cheaper online. Um, and if I remember correctly, Individual has been discontinued. So if you see it and you want a really nice, clean, fresh uh, fragrance, Mont Blanc Individual is a nice way to go. Next. Now the next one is Missoni Wave. This is one of my recent acquisitions. I'm late to the party on this one for sure. 
Um, but Missoni Wave is so, so damn nice. It's supposed to smell a little bit like a Lorome Sport and Versace Porome. To me, I get the Versace Porome because I don't have a Lorome Sport. Um, it just has a, a little spicier kind of background to it and a little heavier note for some reason or another. I can't really figure it out. It does have things like C notes, citruses, lavender. Really, really nice. And the stain power on this one's pretty damn good. I wore this on the way to Florida, which for me is about a 10, 10 and a half hour trip. Um, I put it on in the morning and seven hours later, I could still get little whiffs of it. Um, I got this at Marshall's and I actually saw it over the weekend because I hit some of the rack stores in Florida. I saw it uh, for $34.99, $30, which is a great, great price for this. So if you see it, you've never tried it, this is one that's, that's worth getting, uh, putting your nose to. And I think you'll really, really like it for the summer, spring. This one's a little bit more versatile. You can wear this one even, you know, in the fall. Um, and even in the winter, I, I would put it on if you want to smell a little more clean and fresh in the winter. Um, probably wouldn't cut through the, the massive cold. But still, if you're going to be indoors, nice. And it's got a magnetic top. I love that sound. Next. Now, speaking about what Missoni Wave smells like, it's... Very reminiscent of this one, Versace Porome. Um, oh, and I love... This one's got lemon, it's got bergamot, um, neroli, it's got rose in it as well. And it's really, really nice as well. I mean, you can tell I put quite a dent in this one. Um, and I like it a lot. The, the issue I have with a lot of the freshies, which is probably why I like the... Uh, the winter fragrances more is that because the freshies have like sea notes and citruses you know those type of fresh notes in them those notes tend not to last as long um so that's why in at the base notes on a lot of these you'll still see oak moss you'll still see some sandalwood you'll still see um uh amber things along those lines so you know it, it gives it they mellow out into a nicer clean but, you know, muskier scent, uh, but they don't last as long, at least on me, you know, like with Missoni Wave lasts a long time, but <clears throat> a lot of these on me don't last that long, but you just respray because you're not paying that much money for them. Versace Porome I found at, I believe it was Marshall's, so you can still find it out there, um, and it definitely is a good one to get. Next, now this one you won't find at the rack stores. Um, you'll find it online, and this is Latafa Faka Black. Okay, be careful because they do make another one. I think it's a silver bottle. Um, and then they also make a, a, a female version of this as well. So make sure for you guys that you get this one. Now this one, uh, a lot of these are very unisex. So you ladies out there, you can wear most of these as well. Um, this one is supposed to smell like uh, YSLY. It's staying power is not as strong. Um, some people say it is. My experience is that it doesn't last as long uh, as I'd like, maybe four hours, four to six hours tops. Um, but you just respray. Um, a nice layering, if you guys have this and you have uh, uh, Kayed uh, Alfersan, which is a pineapple scent, you can try layering these two. And the pineapple on top of this gives it a really, really nice, nice scent. Um, but this one, oh, so nice. It's got apple, bergamot, ginger, and I smell the apple quite a bit. And it's just really, really pretty. But like I said, on my skin, it doesn't last that long. But I don't care. I'll just respray. Next. Now, this one is one of my absolute, absolute favorite. I've got two backup bottles of this one. Um, and this one you can absolutely find at, um, where did I find it the most? I think it was either Burlington or TJ Maxx. Uh, TJ Maxx for sure. And it's Nautica Voyage. Nautica Voyage has apple green leaves, lavender, ginger, juniper, sage. Oh, it smells so so damn good, guys. I love this fragrance so much. Um, and it, it has a, a nice uh, longevity on it, at least on my skin, six hours. Um, 
but I still smell it. It smells so delicious, so nice. You get, you smell that apple. Um, and if you like apple, this is a really, really nice one to get. Um, I would definitely recommend Nautica Voyage. Next. Now, this one doesn't get as much love out there in the fragrance world. The, the flankers do. And this one is Deutsche Gabbana Light Blue. There's Deutsche Gabbana Light Blue Forever, which gets a lot of hype. Um, I have uh, Love is Love, which is really, really nice as well. There's, there's a few of them out there. This one is very, very nice. It smells really good. It's got grapefruit in it, bergamot, Sicilian mandarin. Ah, oh, pepper, rosemary. And again, mm, it's, it's so, so nice. And when it dries down, it's got some incense at the base and oak moss. So it gets a little a little, you know, musky with just a hint of incense. Not a lot, but still a, a really delicious, delicious scent. So if you see this one at TJ Maxx, uh, you might want to consider picking it up. This one is the only one that I've seen at TJ Maxx. I've never seen uh, Forever at TJ Maxx. I, I really would like to get that one. Um, but I have seen this one and I have seen Love is Love. Uh, and Love is Love is very nice as well. But if you see this one, Light Blue by Dolce Gabbana Porom, I would definitely suggest it. Next. Now, everybody, if you are a frag head, you know about this one and so does everybody else. And it's Rasasi Havas. Okay. It's spelled H-A-W-A-S, but it's pronounced Havas, um, at least from everything I've seen. And again, be careful because I believe there is a Havas for women. This is the Havas for men. Um, and this one has apple, bergamot, cinnamon, lemon. Oh, and plum. You definitely, definitely get the plum. So if you like plum, this is a really nice one to get. It's got ambergris in it, musk, cardamom. Its lasting power is very, very good. Now, here's the thing. When I bought it, which was back in February of last year, 2022, <laughs> Um, and the batch date was February of 2022, so I got a brand new batch. It did not last that long. And people have said that the newer batches don't last that long. But I've had it for over a year now, and I guess it's had time to macerate. So it's it definitely lasts on my skin a lot longer. And the purple has gotten a little richer, a little deeper purple. So, but this one is delicious. So, so nice. Next. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. It's very effervescent and um, just a fresh, clean smell and it is Versace Blue Jeans. Um, this has got uh, a ton, a ton of notes in it. It's got citrus, bergamot, juniper, jasmine, heliotrope, geranium, sage. Like, it's got crazy amount of, of uh, notes in it. But what you get is you get the citruses, you get the juniper, you get lily of the valley, you get some vanilla. And the other day I sprayed it on myself and I'm like, this smells so damn familiar to me. Like I couldn't figure it out. Um, and then I finally did. And don't laugh at this, but it comes, it has a very lemon pledge kind of scent to it. You know, the one you use on wood not in a bad, bad way at all. Um, but when you smell it, if you give it a little bit of time, you smell it. If you smelled lemon pledge before, you're, you're probably gonna go, yep, it does smell like lemon pledge a little bit. It's, it's very citrusy um, with an effervescent kind of background to it. So it, it's very bubbly, you know? It's, it's just a really, really nice scent. It does last about six hours on my skin. So it's got good staying power uh, and it is really, really beautiful. Um, ladies, you can wear this one as well, but they also do make a Versace blue jean, I mean red jeans, the, specifically for the ladies that uh, I bought for Brenda, and it is actually very nice as well. So, you know, you can go either way on that. So, you know, just do what you will. That one is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, summer and spring fragrances. So get that if you see it. And that one you can definitely find at 
Burlington. You can find it at uh, Marshalls, uh, even at TJ Maxx from time to time. It comes in a blue can, so look for that. And it's not that expensive, maybe like $24. So I would definitely recommend that. The last one is another Versace. And this one is really, really nice as well. Ugh. And this one is Versace Au Fresh. Really clean, out of the shower. Mm, it's got star fruit. Um, it's got bergamot. It's got lemon. And it is just a very clean, like I said, out of the shower. Most, a lot of these smell like, give you that out of the shower scent, you know, where you just feel like you're, you're just clean and you're just, oh, it's so good. But this one's gorgeous. It's got Brazilian rosewood, tarragon, musk. It's a little hard to close up. There you go. Amber, cedar. Um, but what you get a lot of is that lemon, that rosewood, and that star fruit. And again, a really, really nice one. Now, I, I did buy this at TJ Maxx about a year and a half ago, and I haven't seen it again. But, you know, if, if you do happen to come across it and you don't have it, I would definitely give Versace Au Fresh a, a try. Now, it's more of an EDT than anything, um, even though it says Au Fresh, but it doesn't tend to last as long. You know, so you're looking at uh, maybe four four hours, but then you just, you know, you just put it back on. Some of these um, will last even longer. They really, like, their, their stuff comes out, if you will, uh, in the high, high heat. Like Versace Pour Homme, in the high, high heat, it just, it becomes Superman, and it just smells great, and it projects really well, and everything else. Um, but you know, in, in the, on a cooler day, it's a little bit closer to the skin. It doesn't, it doesn't get, have that wow factor. And Old Fresh is kind of the same way on a, on a really hot day. You can definitely, definitely smell it. And some of these, you know, work that way where with the heat, the heat just kicks it in and it, it just smells delicious. So those are 10 fragrances for you guys that I recommend for the spring and summer. And like I said, some of these, you can wear them year round. Um, like Havas, you can wear it year round if you want. Um, but they're very, very good. They're not going to break your bank. You can usually find most of these at the rack stores. And, uh, you know, if you want to smell good in the summer and the spring, I would recommend all of these. These are all Jose coffee worthy. I'm back to my coffee. Oh, I was sick for a while there. I had COVID um, and it was really, really bad. So I thank all of you that, that sent me, you know, sent me love and commented and said, you know, you hope I feel better and all that. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, I'm going to do another 10 for spring and summer, uh, because I've got so many. So I, I might as well let you guys know what you can get, uh, that it's not going to break your bank. Um, I did just get, uh, I got lucky. I went to Nordstrom Rack in Florida and I found, uh, Spice Bomb Infrared for $60, which is, you know, re a great, great price. So I had to get it, so I got it. And oh my God, it's so good. So I'm gonna do a review of that one. I got a new, um, a new Cremo that I found that's, that's really nice as well. I was very surprised. Um, it's a fig, uh, fig dominant kind of scent. So if you like fig, that's one that you should uh, keep an eye out for. I'm gonna put that one out soon. And um, what else did I get? Oh, and I got uh, Mont Blanc um, Explorer, which is supposed to be a very close clone to uh, uh, Creed's Aventus. And it is, it's really, really nice. I got the tiniest little bottle though. I found it at Nordstrom Rack for like $12 and I bought it and it's like this big, the bottle. So, so but I didn't want to spend, you know, a lot of money um, at Nordstrom Rack. So I'm like, ah, let me just pick that one up. So I'm going to review that one as well and let you guys know what I think. So guys, thanks for sticking around. If you like this content, please do me a huge favor. Please like, please subscribe. Please tell your friends about it. Um, please comment. Let me know what you think. And if you do subscribe, which I hope you do, uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So guys, you know the deal. As always, you guys make sure you be safe, you be loved, and I will talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye.